Hello, my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is crochet podcast number 54. So I know it's been a little while <laughs> since I've made a video and I'll go ahead and forewarn you that this video is probably going to be pretty long because I got quite a few things to share with you all as far as finished objects and acquisitions and things that I was gifted. And I will also have like a little bit of a personal update at the end for those of you all that are interested in that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you some of my finished objects. I think my acquisitions and my finished objects are kind of going to overlap in this video instead of being separated into categories because, um, I have started using some of my acquisitions so um, I just want to um, go ahead and tell you all that so the first thing that I got done is this little guy and this is Harley the duckling and I think that he turned out absolutely adorable I love that little face um, you have to indent the eyes a little bit I don't know if you can really tell but you have to indent the eyes and I've only done that a few times. Um, it's nothing hard to do. I've crocheted my hair into him too. <laughs> but it's nothing hard to do, but it's something that I definitely need to continue practicing doing to make it look better. But I really do love his little face. Now this um, Harley the Duckling comes out of this book right here, which is Hello Amigurumi. And I was gifted this book, um, from a sweet friend, Deborah. So thank you so much, Deborah, for gifting me this book. I absolutely love it. And I have seen several um, different people share this book and it was definitely something that I wanted to get. Um, so I was very excited when I got this in the mail and the I was looking through this with my daughter and she fell in love with this little duck. So I was looking at the patterns and I, cause I'd kind of lost my crojo a little bit and I hadn't really been crocheting. So I thought, well, I want to try something that's simple and that will be um, something quick, kind of quick to make. So that is one of the reasons why I chose him. I was trying to find him in the book here he is. This is what he looks like in the book. The patterns are so well written. Um, the pictures, as you can see, are just absolutely gorgeous. There are so many patterns in here that I want to make. Um, you have a robot, a bear. There are all different um, types of dolls. Um, you have like a uh, grandma and a grandpa there and then this one is like a rag doll and I could see like changing the hair on that to red to make it look like Raggedy Ann maybe um, and then on the front side here you can see that there are a bunch of different dolls as well I absolutely just fell in love with this girl right here in the middle I think she is absolutely adorable you also have a couple little bunny patterns and then obviously there's the um, duck that I made. You have these little guys right here and a cowgirl. Um, so uh, like I said, I didn't have any issues whatsoever with this little duck. Um, the designers in this book are all different. Um, it's like a, a compilation of different designers. Um, so their styles may be a little bit different um, as far as each pattern may be a little bit different. But this one was um, absolutely perfect. No problems whatsoever. Um, I really enjoyed the pattern. Now, as you could tell on him, he had a striped shirt. But I decided to um, give him a variegated shirt. <laughs> Usually if I can avoid doing striping, I will. Um, and I really do like how the um, variegated looks for his shirt I also his his um, feet were kind of more to the side or something like that but I wanted them more toward the front whenever I sewed them on also they use the same weight of yarn for like the cheek circles and stuff 
and so I decided that I wanted to um, follow the pattern the way that it was written but I used a two-way yarn for those cheeks so what did I use <laughs> I used a 3.75 millimeter hook on this and this is all worsted weight yarn and as you can tell the 3.75 hook has helped my tension with my amigurumis but I still probably need to go down um, farther I feel like but I'm gonna have to work myself up to that I do believe um, because I've noticed like there's more of like a um, what is it called like like I have to pull my hook more there's more of like a um, tension on my my wrist using a smaller hook so I'm definitely gonna have to work myself up to um, getting used to using a smaller hook with um, worsted weight yarn but I do think that my stitches look a lot better than what they did with the um, bear or the dog that I did um, but I used Red Heart Super Shaver for his body in the color cornmeal and then um, this color for his beak and his feet was um big twist in the color burnt orange um one of the oranges that i have is discontinued and i can't remember which one it is i don't know if it's this color or a different different one um so i'm not sure if this colorway is still available or not and then for his um shirt here i used brava worsted speckle yarn in the color snow day yeah snow day and then for his little um, cheeks there, that is just a little bit of Katona, Chepier's Katona Cotton. Um, I think it's marshmallow maybe, I'm not sure. And then the black is also a scrap two weight. And then I did add the white highlights to his eyes there. I'm not very good at that, but I think that I did a pretty good job on this one um, with those white highlights there. Um, usually whenever I do it, they go up and underneath the eye and so I really had to practice that I had to rip it out quite a few times but I finally got it to where that it did not want to go like like up underneath the eyeball whenever I was tying it off um so I think I did a pretty good job and I do love him I think he's super sweet um you do do these little loops here on the top I think they only had three but I did four because I was a little off center and then he also has the chain loops for a little tail there. I think he's super cute. So that is Harley the Duckling. And now the next thing that I made, um, because you know, once you get your Crojo going back, <laughs> you just wanna make everything. And that was me. I just, I just wanted to um, make something else. As soon as I finished him, I was um, very excited to make something else. And I had got another new book um, in the mail. Um, this one I actually bought off of eBay. I've been wanting it for a very long time because it is part of a series. And I have three of the um, books and there's four and I wanted the fourth one. And that is this book right here, Carrie Lord, How to Crochet Animals Ocean. Um, a lot of Carrie Lord's books are in UK terms, but this one was in um, US terms. So um, for those of you all, I don't know if it's because um, it's sold in America. Maybe she started um, putting it in US terms for um, American sellers I'm not really sure because most like I said most of her books are in UK terms because she does live in the UK um, but I love them regardless um, but these are uh, mini animals and I have the farm um, pets and then there's another one I can't remember let's see I know there's a picture of it on here. I can find uh, um, Wild. So these are the um, four in the collection. And now I have all of them. So I'm very excited about that. Because I love her. And I want to slowly collect all of her books. And I'm well on my way. Um, but I did the seahorse out of this. There are quite a few um, cute little um, animals in here. Um, let's see. 
they're just all like um, sea related, ocean related um, animals. And the, I've noticed there's not like a ton of books that are for sea animals, you know. Um, I know there's quite a few available out there, but there's not as many as there are for like bears and rabbits and stuff like that. But she does a really good job on her pictures. She doesn't really show you a lot of assembly and stuff in her books. But she does have a YouTube um, channel that she um, shares tips and tricks with on there as well. But I do, I did um, enjoy making this and I didn't, um, I only had one issue with this. But here's my little seahorse after talking about that book for so long. I really like it. I've never made a seahorse before so it was really fun to make this and this worked up so fast. Like I think I finished this in like two and a half hours. Um, I used Red Heart Super Shaver stripes in the color Retro Stripe. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that the pattern would be big enough to where I could get some of that pink in there. Um, because it's got um, pink and orange and you know the yellows and the blues and the greens. But it didn't. <laughs> it didn't get any of the pink but that's okay. And then I just whip stitched him some little eyes on there. I didn't use safety eyes. She does not use safety eyes in any of her um patterns for any of her books that I have seen. Um, I've never seen her use safety eyes. She always embroiders her eyes. So when you do use safety eyes, you kind of got to judge um, where to put them at. But I really do like how this turned out. Um, I did hot glue his tail <laughs> up into a spiral there. Um, but his wings are not wings. They're not wings. Fins. His fins were what I had problem with. Um, the fins were easy to crochet. It was very simple to crochet them. But as far as placement of them, I had no idea. I could not tell from the pictures um, where her fins were. And I don't think that I placed them right. They may not even be the right side up. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But I don't think it really matters because I still think it turned out super cute. So this is my little seahorse. And um, I will show you the pictures that I was talking about like in this one right here you know you can't you can kind of tell that the fins are over there but you can't really see them because they blend in um so there's that but I think it turned out okay and I really like it so there's my little seahorse and then the last thing that I finished is um out of the book crochet zodiac dolls so everything that I've made has been out of the book <laughs> this time um, I have been trying to work out of my books I've been getting a lot of new ones and you know obviously I was gifted that one I wanted to use it um so I've just been working out of these books now I actually did start this pattern about two weeks ago or a little over two weeks ago I can't remember it was right after my last podcast that I made that I started this um, and then I laid her down and I never finished her so once I got those two things done I said I'm gonna finish that mermaid because that's what I <laughs> decided to make now she did not come out like I envisioned in my head so I made the Capricorn mermaid out of this book which is this one right here I did not give her any horns and I did change her top area to look more like the um, Pisces I didn't really follow the pattern for the Pisces I just kind of looked at the pattern and decided that I wanted it to look similar to that so but I did use the Capricorn um, pattern out of this crochet zodiac um, dolls book which is by Carla Matrani I don't think yeah that's right okay so here she is <laughs> now I had a lot of trouble with the hair I don't know I think there might be an error in the hair pattern um it fits fine on her head it wasn't that it was the um curls that they wanted me to do um it was saying that they wanted you to have 
14 small curls and then 17 long curls and my stitch count just was not adding up and I don't know if it was me or if it was the pattern it could have just been me I could have misread it um, but the way that I interpreted it interpreted it was that they wanted like two single crochets between each one of these um, curls in the front and it just was not happening like I just did not have enough stitches to do all the hair so I'm not really sure how I misread it or what I did wrong I'm not I'm not really sure but I did have trouble with the hair so I kind of did my own thing and it looks a little wild <laughs> um it didn't turn out like I wanted it to but that's okay I do think she still turned out pretty cute now her patterns um this lady's patterns has no mouth I decided to give her a mouth the nose is actually crocheted into the pattern like as you're making the head you crochet like a bobble stitch but I thought the nose was really big so I decided that I just wanted to whip stitch a nose um, so whenever it told me where to play like do the bobble stitch for the nose I just put a stitch marker there and marked it so that I could go back later and whip stitch a nose where that it was going to have a nose anyway um, I used a 3.75 millimeter hook and I used um, Red Heart Super Saver stripes in the color Retro Stripe. I used um, Big Twist um, cream for the skin. This color right here is actually the color Watermelon from Big Twist which matches the Red Heart Super Saver stripes just perfect I think. Um, I think that it worked out perfect using that. I also used that for her mouth. <laughs> Um, as well and then this color right here is actually crafter secret from Hobby Lobby in the color purple um, it is one of their smaller skeins from like a clearance sale a couple years ago so um, I'm not sure if their big jumbo skein still has this color or not but it is the color purple and I do think that it's pretty but um, I just had this mermaid envision in my head to use the retro stripes and then have purple hair but um i think that i probably should have used a different color hair i think it would have looked a lot better i did actually give her brown eyes i normally don't use colored eyes i've gravitated i used to use them all the time but i've gravitated more to just using black eyes um but i decided that i was going to give her colored eyes and i wanted her to have brown eyes um this pattern was so easy to make though aside from the hair everything else was just so easy to make well written um, the tail and the body and the head are all one piece the only thing you have to sew on is her arms and her fins and her hair cap um, the curly cues are made onto the hair cap now I understood what it was saying to do it's just my stitch count wasn't adding up and I'm I'm not sure where I went wrong um, also her hair wasn't curling in the front on these smaller ones the way that um, it looked like the way that I wanted it to so I actually put two single crochets um, into my chains to make them more more curly and I think that might have been where I went wrong that or I should have eliminated some of them because she has a lot of bangs going on here and there's so much hair in the front that it doesn't really know where to lay down you know how to lay down right and then I feel like the hair in the back is just kind of sparse but I did enjoy the pattern. I would make it again. I do think that it turns out pretty cute. Um, I just think next time that I would do her hair different. Um, maybe choose a different hairstyle from one of the other dolls. Because that is one of the great things about this pa uh, pattern book. Is there's so many different hairstyles to choose from. Um, as I mentioned when I showed this book. I'm not into zodiac signs whatsoever. <laughs> but... Um, I wanted it because of all the different hairstyles, all the different types of dolls that are in here really intrigued me. And I believe that you could mix and match those hairstyles if you wanted to. And so that is probably what I would do. Now, did she turn out, like I said, um, 
earlier like I envisioned no not really but I'm still happy with her I still think she turned out pretty cute and I'm sure that um, somebody will really love her <laughs> so here is my little mermaid um, this is Capricorn um, and now um, I have one thing that I am working on I have a lot of whips and not like a ton, but I have <laughs> I have a lot of things that, uh, you know, like blankets and bigger projects that I just have not touched. I haven't picked them up, but, um, and I do have a couple amigurumi pa uh, projects that I've kind of set to the side that I'll get back to eventually. But I wanted to start something new, and this goes into an acquisition as well. Um, I wanted to make the bear in pajamas from this cute crocheted woodland creatures by emma varnum and it's this guy right here i fell in love with him when i seen this book i knew that this bear was something that i wanted to make i actually attempted to start this bear probably about a month ago maybe a little less than that but I started him and he was coming out huge because I was using worsted weight yarn. And so I thought, I want to use sport weight yarn with this bear because it was just going to be too big. Um, nothing wrong with the huge amigurumi at all, but it's just I don't have anywhere to put <laughs> huge amigurumis. And um, so I wanted to make him smaller because I would like to probably keep this one and not give it away we'll see I always say that and then I end up giving giving them away but <laughs> um but yeah I started him and um so far he's coming out pretty good here is the beginning of his face now when I made his muzzle this part right here out of worsted weight yarn it was almost almost as big as this right here for his actual face um and like I said, I am using some yarns that I got, um, like, just got, like, I just got them. So, um, <clears throat> because I, I had, um, done a wee crochet, um, yarn haul a while back, maybe last year, the end of last year, and I didn't have any browns in sport weight. And so I decided that, um, I was going to order from them and I threw in some browns, but here's his little ears. Um, and I have read ahead in the pattern and it seems like you leave like slots open to where that you can just, you know, sew these directly on. You no know, guessing work for the ears. I'm really enjoying how this pattern um, is written so far. Now that book is in UK terms. Um, there was one abbreviation. I've done a lot of patterns in UK terms. I don't have any issues um, doing that at all. But there was one that was, um, it was like the back loops. Because they wanted me to attach this brown in the back loops only. But I really just did not like the way that it looked. So I didn't do that. But the abbreviation for back loops only, I've always seen it B-L-O, back loop only. But theirs was T-B-H. Um, right, TBL, maybe it was TBL, let's see, and I never heard of that, so I actually, um, did have to go, she does have abbreviations in the back, which is awesome, um, and I had to look it up, TBL is what it was, and it's, um, uh, it's through the back loop, and I'd never heard that before, so I did have to look up the um, abbreviation for that, but like I said, it is included. All the abbrevi abbreviations are um, in the back um, here. It's not, I don't think it tells you the U.S. terminology for it, but um, it might, and maybe I just overlooked it. But it does tell you um, what all the abbreviations mean. Yeah, I don't think it has the U.S. Um, conversion. But anyway, so like I said, this is his little face. And um, I'm using this Brava Sport Weight yarn. I really, really love this yarn. It's so soft. And that is one of the reasons why that I ordered it again. Um, and this color is called 
Sienna, Sienna, um, for his body and then for his um, nose, muzzle area there, I'm using the color Almond. And I just thought those looked fine together. Um, so that is what his body is going to be. As far as his pajamas, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for those yet. Um, probably something blue like the picture. Usually I tend to stick, I don't always stick to the colors that the picture or that the pattern has, but um, a lot of times I do because that's why I fall in love with the pattern is because of the way that it looks. So I'm thinking that I'll probably will use some sort of blue color for his jammies. But this is what I have so far and I am using, I'm actually using a three millimeter hook on this. Um, to work this up and that's all the um that's all the works in progress that i have to like really talk about that i haven't that i've been working on um but i do have some acquisitions and i will just go ahead and show that we crochet haul um real quick because there's not like a whole whole lot so i did um get two of the sienna um, colorway in this Brava Brava Sport weight and this is a hundred percent acrylic um, it's more like a two weight I would say um, when I first got it it looked really fluffy and I thought well that looks more like a DK weight to me but then once you work with it and put tension on it it does thin out as you're working with it um, just so you know but it is a two weight it's a hundred percent premium acrylic they recommend an E7 hook. I'm not sure what hook that is. And then it is 340 yards or 100 grams. So this color, like I said, is Sienna. And I got two of those. And then I also... No, I only got one of this one. And this is the color Almond that I showed you. I did have a little bit of yarn barf there. And then I got... Um, two of these and this color is called Brindle and then I got one of these and it is called Umber Heather that looks really pretty in the light but when you take it away from the light it looks really really dark but in the light it does look really really pretty don't it um, and then I got one color of gray in the color cobblestone heather because I do have a really really light gray already so these are the colors that I got I just wanted different shades of brown because I did not have any brown and then I only had the one gray the very very pale gray so I wanted to get a different color of gray that way if I wanted to make a bear you know I could make a bear so those are the colors that I got from them but then I also Oh no, I got this color too, which is the color silver. It was in my lap. So these are the differences in the grays. So one is, uh, this one was cobblestone heather, and then this one is called silver. So I did get two different grays. <laughs> I just had it in my lap. Um, and But then the whole reason that I placed a wee crochet order or crochet.com order is because I wanted these dots hooks. <laughs> Um, I wanted them so bad and they sold out, um, like before I could get them twice. I'm pretty sure it was twice that they sold out. And, um, I just wanted them so bad. $24 for nine hooks of the, um, crochet.com dots, dots hooks. And, you know, they come in this little box. Let's see if I can get them all out here. I'm stuck underneath the packaging. So you get all of these hooks right here for $24.99. And they're so pretty. I just love how they look. Um, now I did bring in a couple of my clovers just to um, show you real quick. I do know that there are quite a few different people that have made... Um, comparison videos or like review videos. I've watched them. I love them. <laughs> but um, 
these are my clover hooks and then these are my dots hooks now as you can tell um, let me just hold this one up the um, handle on this is a whole lot longer than a clover so if you don't like a hook that has a really long handle this is probably not going to be for you but for me i have big man hands is what i say i have really long fingers and really big hands and they just work perfect i've already started using them i started using them on the teddy bear that i just showed you that i'm making um and i'm actually using this hook right here which is the orange one it's kind of blowing out there but that's better um, and I do like the feel of them. It works perfect. The, um, as you can tell, I don't know if it's going to focus, but the hook part, well, maybe I should show you a bigger one. The hook part looks very similar. Like the top one is the clover and the bottom one is the dots hooks. They look like they are made out of the same um, material, which I think is aluminum. I'm not really sure, though. Don't quote me on that. But um, I do like the heads on them. It might be just a little, barely a little bit pointier, not much, than the clover. I haven't had any any trouble working with these at all. Like, they, they glide smooth. Um, if you want a cheap... Um, set of hooks and you like a longer handle um, as far as the shaft goes it's the same it's pretty much the same length there might be a little bit of difference there between the two but they're pretty much the same um, but this is a great deal $24 for all of these hooks and you get um, a two millimeter which is this one I should have had them all laid out here so you get let's see you get a two millimeter a two and a half millimeter which is pink you get the three which is an orange and then you get a three and a half which is green um, the four, which is this pretty light blue, four and a half, which is this baby blue. So they actually, that one probably is more like a teal color. And then you have the light blue for the, for the four and a half. And then you get a five, which is this dark blue. And then a five and a half, which is purple. <laughs> and then the six is this, um, darker pink. So like I said, they're they're really nice i like them i have used been using um the three millimeter works perfect haven't had any issues with it um i haven't had my hands cramp up or anything like that um also another thing is that the numbers i don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not but the numbers are stamped on there and then they also have I can't tell what that says, but they have something stamped on the other side too, but I can't see it because I don't got my glasses on. But the number is stamped on there, um, so it's not going to rub off or anything. Uh, this part is hard plastic down here, but this part right here feels more like a clover hook or like, you know, the grippy stuff that they put on their ergonomic hooks. Um, and then it has like your thumb rest because I hold my hand, uh, my uh, hook like this, so it works out perfect for me. Um, it's a little bit long, but I really do like that it's longer. Another thing that I wanted to mention before I forget is that with clover, something that I I've misplaced it, but something that I really don't like about hooks is that the smaller the hook size the smaller the handle is like do you see this one is more beefier it's a bigger and then this one is skinny so this is a five millimeter for the blue one and then this one is a 3.75 and it's like the smaller the hook the millimeter the smaller the handle gets which sometimes cramps my hand up when I'm using a small handle but as you can see, no matter what the size is, 
I just dropped one. No matter what the size is on these hooks, all the handles are the same size. So your, um, like your five and a half handle is the same size as your three millimeter handle. The only thing that changes is the shaft. And I really do like that a lot. I like that the handles are consistent. <laughs> so there's my new hook set and I'm very, very happy with them. Like I said, they're only $24. They come in this little box um, that you can keep them in. And um, it's really hard to find hooks for like a whole set for that that aren't, um, that are made well, you know. And I really do like these and I would recommend them, like I said, if you like a longer um, handle and... You know, just need an extra set of hooks. All right. So, I have a couple more things. I know this video is getting long. Um, but I have a couple more things to share with you all. So, I was watching Ella over at No Catchy Name. And she was talking about how her sister opened an Etsy shop and sells stickers. <laughs> crochet stickers. And I was like, I want some. So I went to her Etsy shop and I ordered some crochet stickers. Now this is not her sticker. <laughs> this is something that my daughter gave me, but these are her stickers. So they are supposed to be waterproof. Um, so I got the crochetologist, yarn addict, and then the, um, yarn ball. And these ones, as you can tell, are sparkly. This is my um, crochet journal. And I used the same journal for about two years. So I thought I'm going to decorate it with some pretty stickers, pretty yarn related stickers. But I did get one more. Now it did come in an envelope like this. Um, and shipping for me was only like 60 cents. So well worth it. <laughs> because the stickers are really well made. Like they're not like you know, cheap little stickers. Like, they're really thick stickers. So, if you like stickers, here you go. <laughs> um, but I did get this one, and I haven't um, took the back off of it yet um, to put it on my journal, but <laughs> this one I just thought was funny, so I got it. It says, buy me yarn and tell me I'm pretty. But as you can tell, the sticker itself is pretty thick. Now, the back um, does take away some of that thickness. But I'm pretty sure you can put these on like water bottles and stuff. Like my daughter does that with stickers. She gets those waterproof um, stickers and puts them on water bottles. But that is how thick the sticker is without the um, backing on there. But as you can tell, they are very nice made. They're very thick and they will last for a very long time. So I was very happy with this purchase. And um, I will definitely be keeping an eye on her um, Etsy shop. Her name is Hattie. Um, and I will have her Etsy shop linked below. Um, and like I said, this is Ella over at No Catchy Names Sister. So I did get those stickers, which I absolutely love. Like I said, I love that I could um, decorate my little journal here. <laughs> and like I said, my daughter gave me that one. It says Mom Life and it's got Bluey on it. <laughs> so... If you have little kids in your life, you'll probably know who Bluey is. Um, and then I, um, I got a package from a sweet friend, Cassandra, over at Craftably Ever After. Did not know she was sending me this. Um, I had no idea whatsoever. And um, I was just so surprised when I got this. And she sent me... A sweet package with a sweet little note in it all the way from Denmark <laughs> um, you know I am in Kentucky in the United States and she's all the way in Denmark and she sent me this sweet package and said that she was thinking of me and it couldn't have came on a better day a day that I needed a smile and um, so thank you so much um, Cassandra for thinking of me and for your sweet gift uh, I appreciate you so very much and I am so happy that um, I have your friendship but she did send me this little um, notepad here and um, I use these all the time like I hang these on my refrigerator and I use them all the time to make grocery lists and stuff like that we always have a notepad it does have a magnet on the back 
Oh, we always have a notepad hanging on our refrigerator, so I'll definitely put this to good use, even though I really don't want to use it because it's special, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, and then she sent me a stitch marker that is made out of one of the coins, one of their coins that they have. Um, I'm not sure how much this coin is worth, but that is so cool. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take one of my um, lever back um, clasps that I have and I'm going to hook it right on here and I'm going to use this um, all the time. And I will think of you every time I use it. And I just think it's so cool to have, you know, something so small like a coin from a different country is just so neat to have. So I was really excited about that. And then the last thing that she sent me was this beautiful bag. <clears throat> that I have already used. <laughs> I've already used this. I haven't took the tag off of it, but I did already use it and I love it so much. Um, it's a canvas bag and it's pretty good size as you could tell. And uh, it's from Copenhagen. Cop I think I said that right. I hope I did. But I absolutely love it, Cassandra. And I just want to thank you again so much for thinking of me, you and Deborah, <laughs> with your surprise gifts just touched my heart um, I don't expect anything from anyone but when I do receive something I definitely do appreciate it and it's always something that I will treasure and think of you all every time that I you know use it or see it I only got one more thing <laughs> one more thing and then a little bit of a personal update and that is I went to Ollie's a couple weeks ago and I got some of this haggy fur Haggy, hoogie, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had this before, but I was thinking that this was similar to the um, Premier Eyelash yarn, and um, I thought that I could make some more monsters like this guy. Oh, he's way over here. <laughs> that I could make some more monsters out of it. Um, so I got this color right here. Um, let's see. Let's see. It is Red Heart. Haggy, hoogie, I don't know, fur. There you go. I'm sure a lot of you all are familiar with this. I have never had this, but super soft, super squishy. I love it. Um, seven ounces, 200 grams, 260 yards, um, or 238 meters. They recommend a five and a half millimeter knitting needle. It doesn't say anything about a crochet hook that I see. Um, this color is called Dusty Pink. I think that's all I'm supposed to tell you. Oh no, it's a five weight. There's the knitting. There's the crochet hook. It says a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, dry flat, do not iron, do not bleach, do not dry clean. And then, what is it made out of? I'm going to have to hold it down here so I can see it. Oh, it's 100% nylon. Hmm, that's interesting. But, you know, it's just a fur yarn. That looks like this. But like I did on this guy right here, I held it with a thin sport weight yarn. And it would made it so much easier to fill my stitches. And yarn that is fuzzy like this is very, very forgiving. Like, you can't see your... Like, if you use a bigger hook with it or whatever than you should, then you can't see your holes in your stuffing or, or holes in your um, project or anything like that. So, um, I am excited to make um, some more monsters. I, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I know I have another book that has a monster in it, but I'm thinking that I want to make this body shape again and just change the face. That's what I'm thinking about doing anyway. I don't know. I don't know when I'll do it either. But, And then I also picked up this color right here, which is the same um, thing. And it is called Eucalyptic. Liptus. Eucalyptus. And it's just a really pretty pale green. So those are the colors that they had. So that's what I got. Um, they say that this yarn is regular $10.99. And they had it on sale for $4.99. And then I think I had like a 15% off coupon or something on top of that. So, um, this will definitely make something cute. <laughs> so, that's 
all of my no it's not i got two more things this is what happens when i wait forever to make a video so amazon had coupons on their books i think this is the last thing amazon had coupons on their books and i got two of them because they are two that I've really wanted for a long time. The first one is Zumagurumi 8. I'm sure that you all are all familiar with this. I know that I have a sweet friend, Kathleen, that has made quite a few different things um, that she shared with me out of this book. And that is why I wanted it was because of you, Kathleen. Um, so here are some of the animals. Now, Kathleen made this meerkat. Pretty sure she made the um, beaver there. Um, that I have shared on my featured photos Friday. Um, but there's just some beautiful, cute little um, critters in here. You got Benjamin the turtle. I know this video is going to be so long, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> um, you got Raindrop the fox. He's adorable. Sydney the lion, which is one of the big reasons that I wanted this book. I fell in love with that lion. I think he's so pretty. Mm, Weston the goat in this one. And then you got Milo the hummingbird. Which is cute too. Sherman the sloth. <clears throat> Sammy the seal. It's a better picture there. I'm trying not to show the pattern, but it's kind of hard sometimes with these. Um, Simon the meerkat. I also saw Litza over at Coco's Crochet had started that. I have been behind on my YouTube videos, so I haven't got to see if she ever got any more progress. Um, Woody the beaver, which like I said, Kathleen made that, and the meerkat that I just showed. Cody the crocodile. He's cute. Pablo the parrot. Pablo the parrot. He's really cute. And then um, I'm thinking that a YouTube channel called Not So Crazy. I'm pretty sure she made this parrot. I know she made a parrot. I don't know if it was this one or not. So if you haven't heard of Not So Crazy, K N O T. Go and check her out. She makes some beautiful things. Clarence the giraffe. I love him. I love him. I want to make him. I really love him a lot. <laughs> um, I have those glitter eyes too. That's another reason why I was drawn to those patterns. Then you have Stormy the um, raccoon. He is adorable too. Caitlin really liked him. I'm pretty sure. Um... Abil Abilio? Abil I don't know. It's a toucan. <laughs> toucan. Oh, I think I skipped one. Oh, yeah. And then you have this um, Carol the Cater Caterpillar. It's cute, too. I think that's all of them. And, you know, this book it has all different designers in it as well. Um, but it's just Zuma Creamy 8. I've been wanting it for a long time. They had that coupon, so I snapped it up and then also got Zuma Garumi 7. Um, Abby over at Blue Heart Crochet before her channel got hacked. I'm not sure if she got to upload any of these um, previous videos or not, but she was doing a Stitcher library and she has made almost every um, pattern out of this book. And I have been wanting it ever since I first started watching her Um doing these patterns and um it was on sale already and then they also had a coupon on top of that so i got it for like ten dollars i think and i was very very excited about that and like i said i know she has made a ton of these and they all turn out so cute so if you haven't heard of abby over at blue heart crochet go and check her out too like i said she lost a ton of subscribers and she's trying to build her channel back up but you got Freddy the Piglet. I'm pretty sure she made Freddy. I'm about positive. Lonzo the Llama. Hmm. Scraps the Seagull. I know she made him too. I probably will forget some of them because it's been a while back. But Monty the Moose. I really like Monty too. 
Snorky the elephant. He's adorable. I love him with his little crown. Um, Xander the zebra. You know, I have never made a zebra. Never. I need to. I attempted one one time, but it didn't work out with what I was trying to do. Hamish the hamster. Now, I do know that Llama Mama Kayla made this, and it was adorable. She does an excellent job as well. Um, Noelle the reindeer. And then Cheryl the chicken, which I love Cheryl the chicken. She is adorable. I don't know why I like the chicken pattern so much here lately, but I really do like the chickens. <clears throat> and you got Bob the bear and Buddy the bee. And I think he's so cute too. Like I said, this pattern or this book has got all different designers in it. But Madame Dupree the gray goose. She's cute. So you got a little goose there. And then you got Meyer the mallard duck and his babies. So there's the mallard duck. And then there he is with his babies. And then Penny the pony right there with the big glitter eyes. It's really cute. Um, Lucky, Lucky the stork. And then Leo the Lion. So I think that's all of those. So that this this video is really long. I think this is the longest video that I have ever made. And I know there's not a lot of editing to do. So I hope you all enjoyed hanging out with me. Now, um, if you're still with me. <laughs> Um, I haven't been making videos for the past couple weeks. I did have a um, family member pass away. Um, and I just I just didn't want to um, get on camera. I don't really like talking personal a lot on um, YouTube. Um, just because I know a lot of you all are here for the crochet. You know, not that you don't care about me because I have really... Um, been so overwhelmed with love from all of you all, um, from a lot of you all. I've got emails and messages and I just truly, I just feel so blessed to have friends, um, like you all that care about me, you know, um, that care enough to take time out of your day to say, are you okay? And I really do appreciate that. Like, you just don't even know how much that it meant to me that you all took time from your busy life just to um, check on me, you know, and make sure that I was okay, even though you didn't even know the situation that was going on, you know? So, I do appreciate all of your all's friendship. Um, I appreciate your comments. Um, we're doing okay. Uh, you know, it's hard when you lose a loved one. Um, it takes time and um, it's just, it can be hard. So, um, but we're, we're doing fine. We're, we're making it through it um, day by day. And, um, but it had been a while and I wanted to get on here and let you all know that I was all right. And that, um, you know, I had a lot to share with you guys, obviously <laughs> from the length of my video. And it always makes me feel by, uh, better like when I'm having a bad day or something to get on here and talk to you all because I was telling my husband the other day I was like you know when I first started making um, YouTube videos it was really weird and it was really awkward because it's like I was sitting in here and I was having a conversation with myself um, and now that I have gained so many subscribers, which I'm almost to a thousand, which is awesome. I just can't believe that that many people would want to be subscribed to me. So thank you so much to all of um, the new ones. And thank you for being here for, you know, however many um, times you've been back, maybe every time. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. But I was telling him now when I get on here, I turn that camera on and I think of all of you. You know, I think, oh, I'm talking to them. You know, it's like I'm having a conversation with all of you because I know that um, when this video is posted that you guys are going to be watching it, you know, and you're going to leave me these comments and tell me your thoughts and your tips and 
you know, and I just, I, re I really do appreciate all of you all, and I'm so happy that I decided to do this, um, and that I have all of my yarny friends, because, um, you guys mean a lot to me, so thank you so much, and I'm sorry that this video was a little bit longer than normal, but you know, hey, that's me, you all know, um, if you've been here any amount of time, that usually my videos run long, and, uh, the longer I'm away, the longer my videos get, because I always have a lot to say to you guys, and, um, like I said, it always makes me feel better to, um, sit and have conversation with you all, so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, and I hope you, um, enjoyed seeing what that I have, um, acquired, <laughs> and what that I've finished, um, so thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you in another video. Bye!